Anyway, we're just gonna use a cotton swab. So on one end, I take all the cotton off, and on the other end, I put a little paint, let it harden, and then I push it up against you know the table or something to make it nice and round. And then we're gonna break a toothpick in half. We're gonna file down that middle part, so that'll be one size, and then you'll have the tiny tip for another size. We're gonna use both ends of the toothpick and both ends of the cotton swab. And then we're gonna also use pencils, pencil erasers. So the flat top of the pencil eraser, that's what you want. You wanna make sure it has a nice smooth uh, eraser. You do also wanna grab a paint palette and a damp cloth. And I just wanna tell you how super excited I am about my recent collab with my most very favorite paint brand ever, Deco Art. We collaborated and created this stunning new paint kit for you which includes eight two ounce bottles of Americana acrylic paint, three four by four hard boards to paint on, and two free project templates. That's these two uh, little designs right here. And those are all created with this paint kit and these little hard boards. So definitely go check these out. I will put the link to this new Tropic Vibes paint kit in this video's description below. So we're going to be painting on a base coat and I am using a black paint. Now you do not have to use black paint. I know we get that question a lot. Um, black just makes the colors very vibrant and they just kind of pop off the stone. But you could use an, another dark color or you could use a light color. That's fine. It's just all a personal preference. I personally love to use black as a base coat. You do want to let that fully dry before you begin. Now I am going to be using a heart stencil. This is available in the Dot Art Depot for a couple bucks, or you could just freehand it. It's totally up to you, however you want to do it. And I'm using a soapstone stick to draw on the outline. And I will link all of these products in this video's description below. Um, I have loved soapstone for ages. I've been talking about it for years and years. I did a whole tutorial about how easy it comes off. It's just an excellent product. Um, and I am going to go ahead and draw on some guidelines. Now I did um, erase the original ones. I didn't like the placement of them. And then I'm just going to redraw them on in a different spot. Now I absolutely love these colors at full strength. They're vibrant and beautiful. Um, but I am going to make them all pastels. So I just added a few drops of color to um, white and then I'm going to do a white center. So I'm just going to do some pure white there and we're going to use the large pencil eraser. And you just want to make sure that the end of the eraser is completely covered in paint and you just go ahead and press it down on the stone. You don't need to press too hard and always clean your tools after each color. It's very important. All right, now starting in on the design, we're just going to be placing one dot of color on each of the spokes, um, the little guidelines there. So we're just using the fine point of the toothpick. And since it's wood, it will catch on your rag. So you just kind of want to like lightly um, dab it on a wet cloth to clean it off. But you can do it. I mean, you could use a different toothpick for each color if you wanted to, but... You don't have to. So I just place one color of each one, or I'm sorry, one dot of each color on the spokes there. And then I'm gonna go right in between each one and make a second row of that same color. So there's two yellow, and then two orange, and then two red, and so on, etc. So, all right, the next step will be, the next size up is going to be the uh, broken toothpick. Now you can't fit the first yellow dot on there, so just go to the second one and make the second yellow dot. Now we're working straight out this time. We're not offsetting like we do with a lot of the designs. We're working straight out. So go straight out from the previous dot and make the next size dot up with the same color that is underneath it. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And then the next size up is going to be the cotton swab stick end. And you're going to make just a little bit bigger of a dot right next to the previous one. Just going straight out and be really gentle, but you can actually clean off these homemade tools. It's weird, but they will work the whole project. I do it all the time. All right, now we're going to move up to the other side of the cotton swab. Oh, and I had a little drip 
on the stone in a just, just random spot. So I took a good fresh cotton swab and just a little dab of water and cleaned it off. No problem. So anytime you make a mistake, it's no problem. You can clean it up. All right, um, we are starting on the outer edge of the heart. And so the biggest dot will be on the very outer edge. And then you're gonna go down a size and move in inwards towards the little crease there of the heart. You will just get smaller and smaller. And then when you're down to the very, very last couple dots, you can just dot continuously all the way down. And the dots will get smaller on the rim. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the outer edge. We're gonna work our way down. So we're gonna go back to the cotton swab end, make a couple dots, and then go down to the stick end, and then do the same type of deal. We want these dots to taper and go down in size. All right, now here I was just kind of experimenting. It didn't work very well. I think it could if it were maybe not plastic and it were maybe a tape or something. <laughs> but I tried it anyway, and I just laid that stencil back over the heart. And the green side worked okay. The yellow side pretty much bled into the, the white dots. So I just take a cotton swab, a damp cotton swab, and clean it up. And not too hard. That way I can, you know, just left the white dots still on there and then I just touched it up with uh, the pointy end of the toothpick and got as close as I could so it kind of worked and kind of didn't you know that's what art is all about it's about these trial and errors and you know some things are are great successes and some things are kind of a fail but really it's not really ever a fail you just learn from it and you move on and then you know what to do for the next time so here we are moving on up to the next size same deal just going straight out i just thought this design was cute it was time to relive it and try it again in a different way i had done something similar to this when i very very first started making tutorials on youtube about eight years ago all right so for the next size up i'm using the regular pencil eraser but the thing is is it's not going to fit in all of those spaces that we have so you can just go back down a size so i'm going back down to the uh, cotton swab for some of the dots and then some of them they're just going to have to be the stick and of the cotton swab or the toothpick even so it's just whatever you can fit in there it still will look really pretty now for the next step i go back to the full strength color of these paints and i love them i mean they're just rich and beautiful and very vibrant so you will see what i'm talking about and i start to fill in all the little spaces with just straight little teeny tiny dots in any like a random fashion so i put them like the pink dots will go in between the pink area and then you know the red the straight red will go in the red and so on and then I just kind of fill it in as tight as I can get them all with the little teeny tiny point of the toothpick and then I think you could honestly stop at this point and call the design done because it is so pretty but then of course I wanted to try a couple other things that I had in mind and you'll see and I don't really know which design I like 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 that right there it's perfect um, just as it is but of course I have to go in with some paint some white and make dots in between all the large dots which it's pretty too so let me know in the comment section below which design you like the best you like it before the white dots or after the white dots I kind of think it's pretty both ways and then at the end here I go ahead and fill in the rest of the um, the uh, blank space the negative space on the outside of the heart with swipes so if swipes are a problem for you then just keep watching and I'll kind of walk you through it but so I wanted to bring out the you know the full strength of the color again on the outer edges so I'm gonna make swipes now swipes are not as complicated as you might think Pablo's down there growling at cookie and you guys probably haven't seen them in a while they're so good I love my babies um so just load up the paint 
on a dot and then you're just going to take your finest tip tool which right here we're using the the toothpick end the pointy part and drag the paint straight down and you want to move a lot slower this video is sped up so obviously you're going to move a much slower pace here but drag that paint down just pull it down and when you start to see it uh, making lines in your swipe you know you need to load up some more paint so just take your time grab a little bit more paint dot it right on the head of the swipe and then start pulling that paint down and take your time you want to swipe it down towards you know towards the last swipe the previous swipe so get them as close as you can if they touch it's not the end of the world you can clean it up and and remove it and fix it or you can just leave it because you are most likely your biggest critic and <laughs> no one else will probably even notice it so um right here this kind of threw me off which you'll see later i had to make like a double ended tail on a swipe at the tip of that heart there it was just kind of weird but anyway i realized that i needed to go back up to the top and pull the swipes down in the same order that i had done it on the previous side so that was a little lesson that i learned um, in order to make them look like cohesive so they kind of had to like match you know they had to like match up with the other side so so instead of keeping going in one direction i actually just stopped went back up to the opposite side and then went down in that way so that they actually matched up and then here i just wanted to show you where i um just removed the other two blue swipes on the end because you can see the space there that was from continuing all the way down in one direction so this is why I stopped went up to the top of the other side and then kind of matched the opposite side so I hope that makes sense <laughs> I think I think you get what I'm saying but um, so yeah so as far as cleanup goes again just a wet cotton swab um, get as much as you can off of there and then I use a very fine tip paintbrush which are also found in the dot art depot um and just fill in any of the smears or anything that any of the imperfections that you don't like and then just redot it and swipe it on down and you're going to be good to go hey guys i miss you guys so much i'm going to start trying to get some tutorials out consistently um so i will be seeing you all soon i've got some new exciting products in the shop that I'm so so excited about so I will be uh, featuring those on some tutorials coming up but anyway I hope you love this tutorial and if you did and if you're new to my channel I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber please don't forget to thumbs up comment share you know all that good stuff and if you're looking for more beginners tutorials here's some right here for you see you guys soon love y'all bye now